Hey, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mr. Sambarski here. Today we are getting into a really exciting topic. We are finally delving into chords, which make up the foundation of so much of the music that we hear. So we're going to start off with the basics and learning a triad. So it's called a triad because tri means three. So there's three notes being played. And as you can also see, they are separated by a note. So these notes would be C, skip D, E, skip F, G. Another triad. If I start on G, this is my G triad. F triad. E flat triad. A flat triad. Um, so you can do a triad that's major like I've been doing, or you can do it like minor. So if this is your major triad, you lower the third. Then you've got a minor triad. If I'm doing an F major, I lower the third. So let's talk about uh, how to build these. So the distance from the first note to the second note, there's one, two, three, four. So if you start here and then go up four notes, that's what makes the first two and then go up three more to complete it. So we have four and then three steps that you go up. Now if I were to make it minor, instead of four, it goes only three steps up. One, two, three. And then this one will have to go four. So the reason it's called a major triad is because the interval from the first and third note of the chord, or the first and third of the scale, I guess, is bigger, major meaning bigger, and then this is minor meaning smaller. So you can build using those same intervals on any chord, or starting on any note. So if I'm here, I could go up one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three. There's my major chord. If I went from an A, go one, two, three, four, one, two, three. And there's my minor chord. Voila. So you are going to record two different triads for this assignment. And you don't need to put any rhythm to it. If you do, awesome. Otherwise, you could just do whole notes, such as this. And then, as always, quantize. Turn it into your form measure loop. All right. And uh, then after that, we're going to write a melody. So now the trick to writing melodies when you have chords going on is you have to start to be a critical listener and that not every note is going to sound good. Uh, you maybe started to notice that with the drone that each uh, note pairing or interval would have a different sound, different uh, quality to it. So when I'm playing the C chord, I played this note, a D flat, it would not sound good. All right, so, okay, don't use that note. So it'll take some experimenting, but if you stick with the C major, oh, there, now you can see it, with the C major scale, then it would all be on the white keys. So if you stick with white keys, then it'll sound mostly good. But something cool you'll start to notice is what we call non-chord tones or passing tones. If I play this note, it doesn't really sound good. But maybe it'll sound better with the next chord. So if I did the, 
following chord, it would sound good. So sometimes you just need to hold a note and it kind of builds tension and then resolves in the next chord. So again, composition is about exploration and discovery. So put this on a loop by turning on this purple top here, and then it'll loop back and forth, and then you can keep recording as many times as you want until you figure out something that sounds good. Then for the second project is to do the same thing, but instead you're going to use four different chords. Here I only use two chords. Now you're going to use four different chords. Um, so you can, because it's all about exploration, if you wanted, you could move, you know, these around. See how it sounds. You can change it from a major to a minor chord. So as long as you loop, I mean, many things will kind of work. Uh, you'll find you have to really trust your ears, though. If something doesn't work, then change it. So you could move these around in the piano roll, or you could just go back here again and record four different chords. But all of them for this exercise will stick with triads. All right, I'm looking forward to hearing your melody over chords.